Hi everyone, my name is Magdalena and I am a makeup artist and teacher at the Makeup Forever Academy in Paris. Today I'm with the beautiful Sabrina. Hello, my name is Sabrina. I'm a model. I live in Paris. Today it's a pleasure to share with you guys a new look. Together we are going to show you how to create a perfect daily summer look and how to switch it up for a glamorous night out. Make sure to tell us in the comments down below which look was your favorite and get a chance to win the full makeup kit I will show you here. Okay, so let's start with the soft daily makeup look. So we're gonna start with prepping your skin, which is a very important step. But before we do, and we care for you, so remember to always have your brushes and your hands clean before you start doing the makeup. So I'm going to use the Hydra Booster Primer. Okay, so this is going to be your base so that the foundation sits perfectly, that your skin looks nice and hydrated. Okay. And I'm going to use it with the brush number 122. So I'm picking it up with the bristles. And then you can start in the center of the face and then blend it outwards. So you can see that it instantly plumps and hydrates the skin so it gives it a beautiful glow and when you're prepping your skin don't forget also to prep your lips because it's going to be our last step and i have a little surprise at the end because we're going to switch up the look okay so the lips have to be perfectly hydrated um, so i'm going to use our hd lip booster which is like a serum for the lips so it's not sticky it's not like a gloss it's very comfortable on the lips so i'm going to apply it with the applicator that is quite large, so it's really easy to put it on the lips. It's transparent and you can reapply it during the day as much as you want. Perfect. So to unify the skin, I'm going to use our new HD Skin Foundation. This is our undetectable foundation that syncs perfectly with your skin. Um, so we launched two different tools to use with this foundation. So we have the sponge and the brush. And today I'm going to show you the brush. So I'm blending the foundation onto the brush so I don't have too much of it. So you have to start from the center outwards. Okay, so this foundation is, is very thin, but it has a high coverage power. It also has a 12 hour blur. So you really get that um, almost like a Photoshop finish on your face. It also has a micro skin technology that um, helps the foundation to move with your skin so it doesn't settle into fine lines, it won't crack during the day. So it's a really beautiful formula here. What's also great about this foundation is that it lasts up to 24 hours. It's also smudge proof, waterproof, and also very important, it's mask friendly. So I'm adding the foundation also onto the lid. This will help us to unify the skin, but also uh, we will use the foundation as a base for our eyeshadow. Okay, so here you have it. I think it looks phenomenal. The difference is, is quite outstanding, but it still looks natural. Um, so the next step for us, it will be to illuminate your under eyes and also cover any little blemishes that we might have on the skin. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use our Ultra HD Concealer. Um, here I'm using the shade number 30. Okay, so it has a very easy applicator to do it. And I'm using our brush, which is number 216. It's like a small brush in like a bowl shape. Um, it is quite fluffy, so it will blend the, the concealer easily. And you are a little bit more precise than a finger. So I really advise using the brush for a professional application if you want your concealer to be perfect and flawless. Make sure you tap it in. And once you're close to the foundation, make sure you kind of blend it and soften the texture. But if you're working on the area where you're, you have circles or you are a little bit dark, make sure you tap in your concealer so you can get the most coverage out of it. Great, I think the difference is, is quite visible. Sabrina, do you want to try to do it yourself yes. on the other side? Perfect. So we can start in the inner corner and then just put like three little dots, perfect. It has also a natural finish, so the HD concealer is, it, it is in the same range as the foundation, so the two work perfectly together. OK, 
Okay, perfect. Yeah, good, perfect. Jo good job, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. So now that our complexion is even, let's add some light in a twist. I'm going to use our new Twist and Light HD Skin Powder. Okay. Um, so this powder is very finely milled and its role is to tone, correct and highlight in one swipe. And I'm going to use a fluffy long brush. This is the number 160. You can see it's quite pointy, but it has a little bit of movement to it, so it's perfect for powder application. So I always start by placing the powder in my T-zone because that's the zone when you don't want to be too shiny. So I always go there first. What's lovely with this brush is since it's quite pointed, you can easily reach the nose area, the under eye. So you can see we set the, the face, but it, it's not too matte. It doesn't look flat. You still have that lovely, um, that lovely fresh glow to it. So now that we have set the skin, I'm going to leave it alone just for a moment because I'm not finished there yet. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to work on your eyebrows, your beautiful brows that are very full. Um, I'm just going to intensify them a little bit and correct them um, using our Aqua Resist Brow Filler. Um, so the first step will be using the little spoolie uh, that comes on one side and here you have the crayon on the other side. So make sure you brush your brows just to remove any excess powder. It's also nice to brush it first so that you can place the brows right where you want them to be. And now I can use the little crayon that comes on the other side. Um, so it's a slanted um, shape uh, which is really easy either to fill them in or to draw individual brow hair. So it's really easy to use. So I'm going to start by working on your arch, just using not a lot of pressure because I don't want them to be too dark. And you can see I'm just releasing, I'm just doing those little movements so that it imitates the brow hairs. And once that I'm happy with the tail of the brow and the arch of the brow, I'm, just, I'm going to move slightly towards the head of the brow. And here I'm using a very, very light pressure because I don't want the head of the brow to be too strong. It's supposed to be very fluffy and very natural. So I'm just moving a little bit. So now you can see how it naturally um, adds a little bit more definition to the brow. It makes them a little bit darker, but it also adds that beautiful defined look um, that really uh, adds that beautiful movement to her eye shape as well. So now let's create a soft eyeshadow look using our new Pro Artist Color Palette. Um, so I chose this palette because you can see it has those warmer tones that are perfect yeah. for summer. Yes. Do you like the colors? I like this one. Yeah. yeah, it's really pretty. It's like a little bit bronzy, perfect for a summer day, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So to use it, I'm going to use also a little brush. So I'm using the number 218. Um, so for this makeup look, I think, Sabrina, we're going to go for this color. It has a, a little bit of like a peachy shift to it. Um, it also has like soft pink shimmers. So I think it will be fun for a, like a natural soft day look for the summer. So I'm picking it up and now I'm going to start applying this eyeshadow on the mobile lid, starting from the lash line, and I'm moving up very gently. The foundation that I've put before is also going to grip to the, to the eyeshadow so you won't have any fallout. Once I'm reaching the crease, I'm doing small circular motions so that the foundation can softly disappear into the skin. So if you want to keep your eye look simple, you can leave it here and add some mascara and then you're out the door. Um, but since you love that bronzy shade and I, and I really like it too, I'm going to add it um, a little bit to the outer corner of the eye to shape your eye shape a little bit more to make it more elongated. So I'm using the same brush, keeping it simple. And while the Sabrina's eyes are open, I'm going to work a little bit above the crease to add a little bit more shape to her eye, to add more definition. And I'm blending up to the brow, making sure that I release the pressure of my brush as I go. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to add the same shade on the bottom lash line. And I am blending it into the skin so that you don't have any demarcation line between the shadow and the skin. So you can see it finishes the, the eye look perfectly. And then just to add a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to go back to the first shade 
and apply it a little bit more to, into the inner corners. Just to add that lovely glow into the inner corner because in summer we really want to have that natural glow going on on the eye. So the look is never finished without the mascara, right? Yes. <laughs> so do you want to do it yourself? Yes, yeah. I would like to. Perfect. So this is our smoky stretch mascara. As you can see, it has a silicone bristle. So you can start by just pulling the, the, the wand through your lashes. So that will give them a lot of length first. And then after that movement, you can also do a little zigzag motion at the root. Yeah, perfect. So that way you add more intensity at the root of your lash and it just gives an illusion of a fuller lash line. Great, there's a, a huge difference. Yeah. yeah, right. There's a huge difference between the two. So Sabrina, let's finish your skin makeup by adding a touch of blush. Um, so I chose like a soft peachy color um, so that it matches nicely with your eyeshadow. So okay. it looks um, perfectly pulled together. Um, so I'm using our artist face color blush that I have here. Um, so I'm applying it with a fluffy brush. This is the number 156. So you can see I have the intensity of the color on the top of the ear, it's over the cheekbone, and then I softly blend it um, to the inside of the face. So I release the pressure of my brush to have a beautiful blended color. Let's finish the daily makeup look by adding a touch of lipstick. So this shade is number 132, which is called Cheerful Beige. So you can see I'm starting in the middle and then softly blending it right to the edge. Yeah, I think it looks pretty on you. So now that we saw the soft daily look, let's switch it up and add some intensity to make it more of a glam one. Um, so I'm going back to the same palette, the Artist Pro Color Palette. So I'm going to use the darkest shade of the palette to add more drama to your eyes, to make it more in extravagant and more enhanced. So I'm going with the same brush, the 218. I'm starting by applying that brown shade all along the lash line. And then I'm bringing the shadow higher so that we get more of an intense look. So your smoky eye should be the darkest at your lash line. And the higher you go, the softer the color should get. So you don't need to redo your makeup when you're going out. You just can add more intensity on top of it. So I'm adding that brown shade as well underneath. I'm going to add just a little bit more highlight to the inner corner as well. I'm going to go for the highlighter shade this time to make it even more vibrant. You always want to match a little bit your blush to your lipstick. So since we're going for a bold lip, I need to add more intensity to the blush. So I chose this beautiful cool pink tone uh, that I think will suit you perfectly. It would add a lot of freshness to your face. Nice, and let's do the final touch, the bold red lip. And to line the lips and to create a perfect shape and a more of a long lasting effect, I'm going to use our Artist Color Pencil. And the shade is 712 Ether Cherry. You have a lovely shape, so I'm just going to simply follow uh, your lips because they are very, very pretty. So once you get the Cupid's bow right, now we're gonna work on the bottom. So you want to line the lowest point of your bottom lip. And then from that point, you're going to connect everything to the sides of the lip to create the perfect shape. And if you make any mistakes, make sure you pick up your concealer or your foundation to make sure that the lines are perfect and crisp. Once you get the lip shape correct and the crayon is perfect, make sure you add a little bit of the crayon on the lip so that it it's more long lasting. Now it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you this beautiful um, Rouge Artist lipstick. So I let you do the application yourself and you tell me what you think. You can see it glides perfectly. You can see the pigment is super rich. And it's very easy to apply. Yeah. And to add the last step, we're going to set everything in place. I don't know if you've heard of our mist and fix 
spray setting spray have you heard of it yet yeah i heard of that yeah have you used it not yet not never it's a pro's favorite product because it's helped to refresh hydrate and make your makeup a little bit more long lasting okay. up to 12 hours um you don't need to shake it you just have to spray it and i let you do it so you can get the experience yourself okay perfect you can see the mist is very fine it helps to refresh as well so if you feel like your skin is looks a little bit too matte it doesn't have enough glow you can also add it throughout the day yeah but it feels so good <laughs> And that's a wrap guys, here you have it, our day to night look. So now you know how to switch up your look, make it more glamorous for the evening. And you know also how to master the professional makeup techniques. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will post more tutorials very soon. Bye bye. See you next time.